In this corner, we have the Zoom H6 with the mid side mic capsule attached. And over here, we have the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. This is a dual a dual diaphragm mic. Lots of options on this microphone, but we're going to use the cardioid pickup pattern here. And for our Zoom H6, we're using, of course, the mid side microphone, and we're going to turn the sides down so it's just like a standard microphone with a mono output. Obviously, the Zoom H6 has many more features than being just a microphone, but in this video, we are comparing the voice quality from a large diaphragm condenser to the mid side mic capsule here on the Zoom H6. So let's start the mic war. Here we are in Pro Tools. We have raw samples. We have processed samples of our Zoom H6 MS microphone and our large diaphragm condenser microphone, in this case, the Behringer B2 Pro. Now the processed samples are all run through Isotope Nectar 2 because it has an EQ, a gate, deesser, compressor, limiter, so on and so forth. All of the tools you're going to use to really produce a great vocal sound. Now the raw samples have clip gain applied to them as you can see because if these were down to around zero about the level they were recorded at and you hear this mid side microphone from about one and then we go to the process sample which obviously is going to be much louder away listen to the sound that would just be you know that's just too jarring and you can't really you can't really tell anything doing that so we have raised the overall level of the raw samples just to make it easier to hear uh, the differences. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and start this mic war between the Zoom H6 MS microphone with the sides off and the Behringer B2 Pro, our large diaphragm condenser microphone. Zoom H6 MS microphone. Sides are off, we are about one foot away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is there background noise? What are you hearing? Listen intently to the sound of the voice, maybe use headphones if you want to, to accurately hear the Zoom H6 MS or mid side microphone from about one foot away. The Behringer B2 Pro from around one foot away. The B2 Pro is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Zoom H6 MS microphone. Sides are off, we are about one foot away. Listen to the sound of the voice, is it clear? Is it articulate, is there background noise? What are you hearing? Listen intently to the sound of the voice. Maybe use headphones if you want to, to accurately hear the Zoom H6 MS or mid side microphone from about one foot away. The Behringer B2 Pro from around one foot away. The B2 Pro is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Zoom MS microphone from around six inches away. At this distance, you can really hear that it opens up. It sounds like any other condenser microphone whenever you start getting closer to it. It sounds really good on voice. It picks up things. In my opinion, it's very articulate. Overall, I am currently directly in front of the capsule. The capsule is pointing directly at me. Of course, those sides are off on the Zoom H6 MS microphone from around six inches away. The Behringer B2 Pro from around six inches away a large diaphragm microphone listen to the sound of the voice the quality of the voice is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers for your youtube videos for your narration or for your podcast again from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone the zoom ms microphone from around six inches away at this distance, you can really hear that it opens up. It sounds like any other condenser microphone whenever you start getting closer to it. It sounds really good on voice. It picks up things. In my opinion, it's very articulate. Overall, I am currently directly in front of the capsule. The capsule is pointing directly at me. Of course, those sides are off on the Zoom H6 MS microphone from around six inches away. The Behringer B2 Pro from around six inches away a large diaphragm microphone listen to the sound of the voice the quality of the voice is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers for your youtube videos for your narration or for your podcast again from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone 
the Zoom H6 MS microphone from around two inches away. At two inches, you're really listening to see how does it sound? Do we get that proximity effect? Does it give you an enhanced low end response? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what you want. Is it accurate? Is it clear? Is it articulate? Those are the things that matter when it comes to YouTube videos, narration, voiceovers, and podcasts. So again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 MS microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Zoom H6 MS microphone from around two inches away. At two inches, you're really listening to see how does it sound? Do we get that proximity effect? Does it give you an enhanced low end response? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what you want. Is it accurate? Is it clear? Is it articulate? Those are the things that matter when it comes to YouTube videos, narration, voiceovers, and podcasts. So again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 MS microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And there it is. Folks, which one did you prefer? Did you prefer the sound of the MS microphone from the Zoom H6 or our large diaphragm condenser? They both sound pretty good, and you can, of course, EQ things differently uh, however you wish, but overall, they capture a pretty good overall voice sound that is more than usable. It really just depends on the kind of sound that you like. So drop a comment below and let everyone know who you think won this mic war, the Zoom H6 MS microphone or our large diaphragm condenser microphone, in this case, the Behringer B2 Pro. Who won this mic war?